there you see Kobe Bryant in the foreground, the man many have dubbed the next Michael Jordan. I got mine, I got mine. I don't think you're going to take everybody on the one. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Kobe. Yeah. He don't let the game come to him. Mm -hmm. no, he just go out there and take it. He's gonna make his game. Make his shit happen. I'm gonna make this a one-on-one -on -one game. Yeah. Yeah. Look, I figured after the first four attempts of Jim Joanne, he's gonna chill. What? Shit. After That's the first four right. attempps, That's if I was a teammate, I wouldn't pass him the fucking ball. <laughs> hey, you want this ball again, brother, you better rebound. <laughs> G fam, what it is, what it ain't. It's your boy Izzy G the King back to y'all with another video. And today we got the Jordan Challenges Part 13 past the torch Los Angeles Lakers at Chicago Bulls, December 17, 1997. In their first true duel, the proven Michael Jordan and the up and coming Kobe Bryant go toe to toe with Jordan coming out on top, keeping the future superstar at arm's length. As you guys can see right here, it's not too much. All we got to do is win the game, score 36 points, hold Kobe to under 20 points, and win by 10. Make sure you guys, if you are enjoying, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to get into the game. I'll see you guys after, and I'm out. Peace. Michael Jordan is the greatest player ever. Just watching him play, he had tenacity. He had focus. He had drive. He had vision. And Kobe emulated his game after Mike. He did everything Mike did to walk like him, talk like him. He did everything. He loved Mike. So, you know, the ability to, to go against him that day, just him versus Mike, he lived for stuff like that. So I remember that game. You know, he just was, he wasn't calling no plays. And every time Mike scored, he knew he had to score. Whatever Mike was doing, he had to do it or outdo him. That's what you do when you go up against a great player, AKA your idol. You gotta let them know that you're coming to take their spot. NBA superstars are judged by their championships. In 1991, Michael Jordan and the Bulls secured their first, knocking off Magic Johnson and the Lakers. To some, a passing of the torch from one great dynasty to another. But now, a new challenge emerges from Los Angeles. A young Lakers team who tonight will lean on their high-flying youngster, Kobe Bryant. Neal. And for the defending champion, Chicago Bulls, Ron Harper is in at the one, and Michael Jordan joining him in the backcourt. Tony Kukoc at the small forward. The rebounding machine, Dennis Rodman at power forward. Luke Longley is back in the starting lineup after missing Monday's game with a sprained ankle. And both of these teams missing star players with injury. For the Bulls, Scotty Pippen recovering from foot surgery. And for the Lakers, Shaquille O'Neal is out until Christmas with an abdominal strain. And Jordan throws it down. One-handed. Threw it down with power. Oh, he loves that move. An iconic one for him. Van Exel dishes to Fox. That one, no good. Rodman with the defensive effort. Hey, Clark, when you talk about the absence of Scottie Pippen, it's been rumored he'd welcome a change of scenery. You're exactly right, Kevin, and those are more than just rumors now. I mean, he said on multiple occasions he'll never play for the Bulls ever again. With the trade deadline approaching in February, Ooh, some tough wow. decisions. Fox a screen on Harper. Lock at six. Here's Kobe. No good off the back of the rim. And here are the Bulls now. Outside, Jordan. From down in the low post, it goes. Jordan has led the league in scoring nine times, and it may be ten times after this season. It's a tough First 12 seasons. My goodness, that dude is good. Now, here's Harper. On the wing, coach. Here's Jordan. Up and in for the basket. Number four. That makes him four for five now. Jordan has looked very sharp here early on, and that's not a good sign for the Lakers. Pass to Kobe.
It's blocked. And here comes the break. Jordan against Bryant. And Jordan throws it down. Their scoring has been a problem. Been tough to handle. And it's enabled them to establish a substantial lead in the early goal. Outside, Kobe. Ori a screen on Jordan. Ryan against Jordan. Second shot opportunity, and Kobe lays it in. Kobe Bryant has really been in a great groove lately. The second-year pro averaging 24 points a game in his last four ball games and shooting over 50% from the floor while doing so. And he put on a show this past Sunday in Los Angeles, dropping a career-high 30 points in a win versus the Mavericks. Well, that's a rebounding clinic right there. He boxed out and then went up aggressively and strong for it. And there's the, the Bulls leading by seven. Here's Jordan. That falls. High speed that time from Harper. 14 points for Michael Jordan. At 6'6", Harper's outstanding court vision is accentuated as he looks over the defense. Ryan in the post. Jordan on him. One of the top perimeter defenders in the game. Jordan made that a tough shot for Kobe. And there's the pass to Harper. Outside, Rodman. And Rodman with the slam. Still in the first quarter, and they've already carved out a double-digit lead. In complete control thus far. They couldn't have asked for a better start. So the Lakers' tempo offense. What we have is a clash of different styles here. The number one scoring offense of the Lakers versus the stout defense of the Bulls. Great matchup. And he gets it to go. Right from the start. They set the tone and were the more dominant team. I love how they've looked right from the tip. Doing an amazing job building this lead. Now here's Kobe. And again, no good by the Lakers. They can't expect him to miss that shot consistently. Here's Jordan. Oh, oh man. They have set the tone in the paint getting whatever they want well not much resistance and if things don't change this could turn into a blowout the bulls have had two chances at the line already making them both outside harper back to jordan sweet move and he sinks the layup. Jordan's got 21. Going up against this idol Clark on a big stage should be quite the test. For th Boy, they got lucky on that one. Yeah, he's an incredible three-point shooter. So you are ecstatic any time it does go in. And Jordan gets it to go. Jordan's got 28 points for the game. You're not going to get stops against him unless you give an effort. Priority and goal number one has to be tightening up the defense. They can't afford to give him open looks. Now, here's Fox. Here's Kobe. Good, and it's Fox who picks up the assist. Kobe's got five now. He has a particular set of skills, and they're very fun to watch. Pass to Jordan. Second quarter of play with around two minutes gone so far. Props in the layup for two. Jordan's got 30 points. So far, Mike, so good for Jordan. That finger hasn't been an issue for him in these first two, two quarters of the game. Yeah, he's playing through the discomfort and scoring well here in the early stages. Now, here's Van Exel. He kicks it to Fox. Back to Van Exel. A three from Bryant. And it's Harper with the rebound. That's what they wanted there on offense. He missed that one, but Coach has to love the look they got. And Jordan gets it to go. I like that they're putting in the work, trying to build this lead out. Because in the NBA, no lead is safe. And for those of you just joining us, we're in the second quarter with about three minutes gone by. Shot clock at six. Bryant banked in off the glass. 
Kobe's got four points. Rebound by the Bulls. Sometimes you do things right on offense, and the shots just don't fall. Short count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. He could have walked to the basket. For Chicago, they have been coming through at the charity strip. They've made seven of their eight attempts. First team. We've got 123 left to play in the first half. Kicks it to Jones. Now the pass to Barry. Back to Jones. Passes it to Barry. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. Pass to Blunt. Outside, Jones. That three off the mark. Jones has gone one of four from distance. Kukoc from outside. That shot off, and the Lakers will go the other way with it. Barry, the pass to Kobe. There's 42 seconds left to play here in the second quarter. And Chicago has possession. Short. And slam dunk by Jordan. Hey, you better get a body on him and box him out. Yeah, he makes him pay. You're right. And unless you get a body on him, he's going to continue to do that. Now here's Kobe. 13 points in the game. There's 21 seconds left in the first half of the game. Can they get it? Keeps it alive. Controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Attacking the glass. Campbell getting physical and winning the second chance look. Here's Jordan. Nice form on the 20-footer. Jordan's got... Everybody stepping up and contributing and playing a really cohesive, effective brand of basketball. They are indeed, you're right. The Bulls are doing a great job, Mike, of keeping the Lakers out of transition as they love and limiting those easy scoring opportunities. Yeah, they've controlled the pace of this game, Kev, and have prevented the Lakers from playing their preferred style of offense. They've done a great job. Here's Van Exel after the Bulls pick up two. That's good from Fox on the assist by Van Exel. Fox has got four this quarter. Van Exel, a shooting guard and a point guard's body, that time creating for his teammate. Kukoc passes to Jordan. Back to Kukoc. You love to see Jordan facilitating for his teammates. And guys, that's something they desperately need from him with Pippen out of the lineup. Kukoc has gotten it done so far from the field tonight, making four of his six attempts. And Jones slams it in. Points. Outside, Kukoc. Long lead down low. Campbell defending. They get it again. Kicks it out to Kerr. Jordan against Jones. Jordan passes to Kukoc. And slam dunk by Jordan. He's ready, willing, and able to carry the load offensively. And it's Jones with the ball for the Los Angeles Lakers. Pass to Van Exel. Ori is screen on Kerr. Van Exel passes to Ori. The rebound by Kerr. Dennis Rodman's domination on the glass, unprecedented. He's a glass eater like no other. Led the league in rebounding for six straight seasons. It's been a one-sided affair for sure. It is obvious and clear who the better team is. Jordan passes to Kukoc. Jordan kicks to Kukoc. And it's Kukoc with the jam. They've gotten out to a big lead because of superior play on both ends. No better way to do it. It's much easier to win games when you own both sides of the floor. Offensively, Clark, things have sort of fallen apart for them. And they need to recover as soon as possible. Here's Fox. No good. Shot missing. And it's Chicago the other way. Well, filling in for Shaq is not an easy task, but Eldon Campbell is doing an excellent job. In the last 13 games without O'Neal, he's averaging 18.7 rebounds and two blocks. And the Lakers making a change here. 
Fisher's checked in. Now, here is Jordan. Non-stop scoring machine here. Kukoc gets the bucket. He's been a reliable offensive option, currently maintaining an impressive field goal percentage in this game. And talking about Campbell Clark, he's actually the oldest and longest tenured Laker on their roster. Yeah, back in the 1990 draft, Campbell was selected 27, just two spots ahead of Tony Kukoc. And as a rookie, he was a member of that Lakers team that fell to Jordan and the Bulls in the finals as the Bulls captured their first of five titles. Fisher with the ball. Outside, Kobe, and stolen by Longley. Here's Jordan, and that comes off the assist by Longley. Jordan's got 49 points in the game. Oh, glad we got a chance to check out that... G fam, as you guys can see, we end up blowing out the Lakers, keeping Kobe to his minimum, what we had to get done. Clearly getting over the 10 plus um margin that we needed to get by. Um but since I got you guys here, we got them out very, very earlier than I expected. Um I just want to give you guys some quick reminders on what's going on. Uh just to make sure y'all up in tune. Um if anything let me start with this we do have a new franchise on board it is not the team i wanted to do but it is interesting because it is a money line franchise so whoever wins uh the super bowl out of these next two seasons i believe it's a grand prize i don't know the exact amount just yet but um by the time y'all probably see this video, the team's probably going to be revealed, or if anything, I'm going to just tell y'all now, it's the Los Angeles Chargers. Um, I'll get more into that team necessarily when the Madden video comes out, but um, yeah, just wanted y'all to be known that, hey, there's another franchise coming out, so don't worry about uploading and not having nothing to watch or not being available, because we got three franchise teams, and we got Spider-Man 2 just about a week or so from today. Um... But speaking on that, um, we got technically one more video after this. And then we get to the last episode of Miles Morales and then bomb we into Spider-Man 2. So in about, I don't know what today date is. Um, let me check. Today is currently the 13th. So yeah, um, it's the 13th. So that video will probably drop. Well... This video will probably drop on the 15th. Then I'll do the last dance on the 17th. Then I'll drop Miles Morales on the 19th. And then the Spider-Man 2 video will either come out on the 20th or the 21st. Depending on how time looks or what I will do is this video will probably drop on the 14th. Then the last dance will drop on the 15th. Miles Morales drops on the 18th. And then Spider-Man 2 drops on the 20th. The, the initial day of its release it just depends on the timing and what i gotta do but i'm gonna get out of y'all here i just wanted to make sure you guys knew the scheduling um but yeah it's your boy easy g the king uh hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure you guys like comment subscribe and i'm out peace